Are you planning to travel to Italy for the summer holiday? These are things you need to know when you're coming to Italy for this summer 2023. The first thing is that this is a good one. Museums are free every first Sunday of the month. So if you come, if you plan your travel in such a way that you find yourself within the big cities, you'll get it uh, on the first Sunday of the month. You're going to enter into the museum for free. Places like uh, the Colosseum, the Roma Forum, the Palatine Hill. We have also the um, the Victoria Emanuele building. You know the big building near the Piazza Venezia. All those buildings you can enter for free on the first Sunday of the month. And not only that, not only in Rome, in Florence, in Milan, in Turin, most of the cities when you want to enter the museum in every first of the Sunday, you enter for free. Secondly, you are going to walk a lot. If you're coming to Italy, please don't expect to come with heels. You need to have comfortable shoes because you'll need to walk from one place to another. Public transport is good, is not the best, but the best way of exploring the cities in Italy is through walking. So come, carrying very comfortable shoes that you can walk up to 10 kilometers per day because you are going to climb stairs, you know, go around mientas, go around narrow streets and all that. So come with comfortable shoes. But during summer, Italy, it's extremely, extremely hot. So don't come planning so many things, you know, put together, scrambled or, you know, crashed within a few days to visit several places. Don't come planning so many activities for short periods. You can only do most of activities in the morning or in the evening when the sun is not too hot. So in addition to you not planning so many activities for a shorter period or planning to go and visit so many places uh, within a few days is because the queues are crazy queues to museum queues you know to the cathedrals queues to enter some of the areas within italy they are long they are really long so you need to be very very careful so that uh when you're planning you create a buffer time so that it can it can you know it can uh, cater for delays and if you're planning to visit a place it's better you go there earlier very early in the morning so that you won't find longer queues than waiting until it's midday and then you want to go and enter maybe let's say the vet the vatican is not possible it's not possible to add with the queues in the big cities i think another thing you can do to rectify this is better you visit smaller cities. There are very good cities uh, within Italy that are underrated. You can go to a places to places in Tuscany like Ovieto or um, there are several towns within the Tuscany area whereby you can go and enjoy good cultural activities like wine tasting and all that. So think about that. Most of Italian cities, not most actually, all Italian cities have water fountains actually in rome there's a fountain whereby you can get sparkling water like you know there's a fountain you can get uh, sparkling water so just carry a stainless steel bottle which can keep your water cold and you can refill it once in a while because if you just go and buy waters on the street or on the supermarket you're going to spend a lot of money and not only that you have to be walking along the streets looking for supermarkets and then just buying money uh, water expensive whereby you can still like still drink fresh water which is clean in the fountain if you have a bottle you need to book restaurants you need to book and reserve a table in a restaurant if you want to enjoy your meal and this is something that is underrated or is taken for granted but if you want to enjoy a, a good meal you need to call or text or you know email uh, the restaurant and book a table some of the restaurants actually you cannot enter without a booking so you need to do that not only that i think that the best other thing i need to share is about if you want to take 
to eat authentic authentic Italian foods. Don't eat within, you know, the touristic area. Let's say you go to the Colosseum and then you just you just eat within, you know, you want you want to have um, Insta Instagrammable or tic <laughs> TikTok videos or what to show like aesthetics. That's good for aesthetic, but if you want to have typical food, you have to go like back streets of these uh, big areas or just walk a little bit further from the main touristic areas in order to have better experience. That's a very good tip. Hats. When it comes to hats and sunglasses, is a, is a basic thing. It's not just for fashion. It's a basic thing because the sun is scorching. If your man uh, carry your cap, if your lady carry all these big hats, so that is going to protect you from the sun. And nine, I think I've shared so many things. Number nine is that Italy, the the charging system, all the cable, um, the socket system is three straight pins. You see, they look like this. So make sure you carry your adapter because some of these uh, restaurants, they don't provide um, adapters like this one. So you, you make sure you carry adapter so that you won't be stranded to charge your uh, appliances. And the last one is that you need some cash, you need some coins, you need some uh, money with you because in some of places in Italy, you can never pay with a card. You know, we are used to this cashless catcher, but in Italy, there are some places whereby you cannot pay anything with card. So carry with you, carry with you some cash, carry with you some coins because this is going to save you so much. I one time before getting used to the system in Italy, I missed a flight because I didn't have cash. So please make sure you have cash. Make sure you have cash with you. It doesn't have to be a, a lot, but let's say at least 20 euro, at least 10 euro, at least like 50 euro and below. Just have some cash with you. I hope this video helps you if you're planning to come to Italy. And if you have any other question, any other clarification on anything that I've shared here, comment below and I'm going to clarify for you. Bye bye.